Hey everyone, I'm Lizzie with Apple Seeds, and today we're going to be making an apple crumble with a twist. So I've actually never made an apple crumble before, so we're all going to learn together. But everyone at Apple Seeds talks about how good this recipe is, so I wanted to give it a try. Today we're going to have two different parts. So for our filling, we're going to use apples, some lemon juice, which will uh, stop the apples from browning, some water to help it cook down, some vanilla extract, and some cinnamon. And then for our crumble, we're gonna use oats. You can use any kind of oats you have. And then whole wheat flour, but you can sub substitute gluten-free flour. And then more cinnamon, some honey, some oil, and more vanilla extract. And we have a secret ingredient. So today's secret ingredient is beets. And what's really cool about beets is that they've been proven to increase your energy and endurance. So, if you eat a beet right before you go play a sports game, you'll be able to run faster and longer without getting beat. Hey June, catch! Let's get going. So first up, we're gonna slice our apples. And this is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna get a little help from my kitchen elf. Okay, and now we can cut the roots off and shred our beet. Okay, let's go ahead and add that to the bowl. Be careful, because beets get messy. <laughs> and now we're gonna add our lemon juice, our water, vanilla, and some cinnamon. Would not be an apple crumble without cinnamon. Let's stir it up. So beets add such a beautiful color to the apples and they bring a nice earthy sweetness flavor and they're full of nutrients. So this is gonna make this a really healthy dessert. All right, let's grab our pan and then we'll make our crumble. All right, let's set this aside and get going on our next step. So for the crumble, we are going to use our oats, our flour, more cinnamon, some honey for sweetness. Because obviously an apple crumble's gotta be sweet. Vanilla and some olive oil to help it stick together. So you can do this with a spatula, but since I'm already messy, I'm gonna just mix it all together with my hands. Let's spread it on our filling. So you wanna just spread it fairly evenly across you could even use your hands for this, but I think mine are sticky enough. All right, let's pop it in the oven. We've already preheated ours to 325 degrees. Whew, this looks great. You can tell it's done because it's starting to brown a little bit just on the top. Ooh, it smells so good. All right. I'm gonna go eat this under the apple trees. You guys have to make this at home. And when you do, post a picture and tag us in it. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, you should subscribe to Apple Seeds on YouTube for more recipes and fun on the farm.